The Ogden Hinckley Airport's role in World War II. In 1927, Robert H. Hinckley opened a Dodge dealership in Ogden. His family moved to Jefferson Avenue, and that same year he co-founded Utah Pacific Airways. They were out at the original airport where Ogden Regional Hospital is now. Utah Pacific Airways sold planes, ran charters, and opened a flight school. They had a perfect safety record, never losing a passenger or a student in spite of the danger. The first airport manager, Art Mortensen, said in the early days, they were all close calls. Every flight was. Now, this was during the Great Depression, and Robert H. Hinckley was troubled by the lack of work for people. So he became part of the New Deal, overseeing WPA projects in the West. Hinckley's specialty became mobilizing WPA workers to build airports. Soon, the president appointed him to lead what today is the FAA. He believed the future was in the air, and he wanted to inspire youth. Hinckley enlisted help from people like Orville Wright, and he started what became known as the Civilian Pilot Training Program, or CPTP. It was open to everyone, including women and people of color. Eleanor Roosevelt loved the program, saying, I am pleased to learn of the part which women are playing in wartime aviation. Weber College had one of the first civilian pilot training programs in the whole country. Here is a group of Ogden students. The CPTP trained more than 80,000 pilots. The importance of this program cannot be overstated. Without it, the U.S. would have been critically short of pilots in World War II. After Pearl Harbor, Ogden shifted from training civilians to military cadets. Many didn't come home. Mortensen said, they were the finest fellows I ever worked with. I bawled a little when I heard that so-and-so's dead and so-and-so's dead. One Ogden trainee who did survive was Gail Halverson. He went on to become known as the Candy Bomber in Germany. During this time, Robert H. Hinckley lobbied from Washington to get a new Ogden airport built. It opened in 1943. Ogden named it for Robert H. Hinckley. He had been a tireless advocate. The new airport gave Ogden a morale boost in those war years. After the war ended, Hinckley remained in public service for a while. And then, in a remarkable career twist, he went on to co-found the ABC News Network in New York City. For 10 years, he helped make it into the powerhouse it is today. Robert and his wife retired in Ogden Valley, and they founded the Hinckley Institute of Politics. Today, the Ogden Airport is home to commercial service, general aviation, flight schools, and aviation companies. Produced by Evalog.life. Tell your story.